What is going on Rise of Kingdoms fans, Wispy here, and today I'm going to tell you a little story on when I almost quit Rise of Kingdoms. So that's right, it's story time with Wispy, so grab your popcorn, grab your grape soda, it's about to get interesting. Now this story takes place just over 500 days ago, which is how old my account is, it's just over 500 days. Before Rise of Kingdoms, I was playing Clash of Clans. I'm pretty sure everybody in the world knows what Clash of Clans is. And I played it forever, religiously. I had almost maxed out everything. Town Hall 13 had just come out. I had a really strong account. Well, I was getting extremely tired of just the repetitiveness of Clash of Clans and spending so much money in it. So I wanted a different game to play. And I found Rise of Kingdoms. Now, once I downloaded Rise of Kingdoms, the kingdom I ended up in was 1713. Now, I had never watched a single video on Rise of Kingdoms. I didn't know anything about it. I just thought it was another builder-based game, just like Clash of Clans. So I was extremely, extremely a noob at this game. Now, I was a noob for a long time. So... In 1713, the first thing that almost made me quit the game, nobody in that kingdom spoke English. I think there was only a handful of people that spoke English. Honestly, it wasn't that big of a deal because of the translation function, but it made me feel very unwanted because nobody would really talk to me. Um, I guess they didn't really like people that spoke English I don't know but it was very Korean heavy kingdom primarily now I didn't know anything about jumper accounts I didn't know anything about migration so I was like well this is the kingdom I am I'm in let's make the best of it where I didn't know anything about the game I didn't really want to fight or anything so all the little civil wars and like fighting that you do in the beginning of the game I didn't really participate that much into it because again remember I was tired of spending money and I was 100% free to play so anytime I would try I would just get completely rick rolled I, I just got demolished okay so i was like ah forget that okay i'm just gonna build my account like they can do whatever the hell they want to do okay like i'll join whatever alliance makes it at the end fast forward to kvk1 uh we're going into our first kvk i'm extremely excited we had like two t5 players so i thought we were the bee's knees okay i thought we were about to roll over everybody because i'm like we got these two really strong players i think one was like 65 million power and the other one was like 75 so i was like we're gonna destroy everybody these dudes are they got to be the strongest in the game are you serious now remember i'd never watched any videos so i didn't really know how powerful you could really become I just know that in my mind they were super strong the first red flag was shortly after entering kvk we got into a civil war against the third ranked powerful alliance like by power in 1713 uh to this day i still do not know why that happened at all um there's honestly nobody i can really even ask what the heck happened um, but for some reason we kicked them out of the kingdom in the middle of KVK like starting zone hadn't even opened yet and we kicked them out well once zone 5 opened up they the alliance that got kicked out built a fort um, in zone 5 and actually joined our enemy surprise motherfucker and so we were going against 1720 which is the kingdom I'm in now plus the alliance we had just kicked out and I was just like, what the hell is going on? I think at this point I was like eight or 10 million power, not very high. Didn't, still didn't know much about the game cause still didn't do any research or anything. Like I was an extremely casual player. Okay. So I didn't really know how serious KVK was. I think by the end of KVK one, I had like a million kills or something super pathetic. because I just didn't know what I was doing. Once 
our starting zone was able to get invaded so once our starting zone opened up to be uh taken i went to bed that night and i calculated the time and 1713 only needed to hold for like three hours before i would be awake and i was like super pumped like super super pumped i was like okay i'm gonna get all my fighting in like we're about to go ham we're gonna destroy these guys and when i woke up they didn't even hold for the two or three hours or whatever like our starting zone was already completely invaded and what had happened was i was there fighting like i was teleporting all around to where there was fighting and i was like man why is there not really anybody here fighting with me like why am i by myself like i think i was like 24 million power at the time because i was tired of getting slapped around so i did like a quick spending spree and powered up from like 12 million to 24 and i was just like why is nobody helping me like what is going on a couple people from 1720 actually started messaging me and uh one was my really close friend now stama who actually recruited me to 1720 after uh that kvk was like hey man everybody in your kingdom went home like you are literally the only person from your kingdom still fighting like everyone is either bubbled or left and so i zoomed out and he wasn't wrong all right and he was a super nice guy and that's the reason i went to 1720 he warned me he's like hey man you should probably go home or bubble because you're 24 million power there's not a lot you can do you're by yourself and we started talking and everything and if stama didn't reach out and start being nice and talking to me i 100 percent like i was gonna quit the game like i told my girlfriend i was like i hate this game i hate my kingdom and at this point i still didn't know i could migrate stama told me he's like hey man why don't you migrate to our kingdom and i was like you can do that and he was like yeah and he had to talk me through the process of migrating after kvk this is how much of a noob i was so i literally nobody talked to me nobody communicated with me like they basically left me there to just die and that is the reason why i almost quit and what saved me was um stama and now all my really close friends so like you you cooper ben Jax, uh minnow a bunch of others they pretty much kept me from quitting the game and i know a lot of you were like why don't you leave 1720 and all this other stuff um that's why like those guys were literally the reason why i still play the game now and if it weren't for those guys there never would have been a wispy gaming i never would have made youtube videos or anything like this is probably my second what you're seeing now my second rise of kingdoms content ever which was a stream on twitch and this is kvk2 so like i never would have got to this point all right guys well if you enjoyed story time with wispy Go ahead, give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And if you've ever almost quit the game or if you have quit the game, let me know what reason it was uh, in the comments below. And if you ended up not quitting, what was the reason that made you stay? Until next time, I'm Wispy Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one.